In this video, I'll show you how you can build an email list where you can promote your self-published books for free. Welcome to my channel. My name is Caroline. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the steps that you need to take to build an email list for your low or high content books. You will hear everyone in every different type of online business model talk about how you need to build an email list. I know I talk about it in many of my videos and that's what we are going to talk about in this video today. So many people ask me how they can promote their self-published books and how they can make more sales on their self-published books. And part of my answer is always that you need to build an email list. But how do you even do it? Where do you start? What program or service do you use? How do you even get people to join your email list? And why is even having an email list so important? Well, it's probably one of the only ways where you can get access to somebody a potential customer to their personal information where you can get in touch with them directly. When you think about it, you may have social media accounts that you promote your books or your products on and you can have a massive following on any of those social media accounts. But at the end of the day, it's up to those people, your followers, to get in contact with you if they want to or go out and seek your products if they want to buy them. And also, not every follower sees all of your posts. So as we know, basically every social media platform out there limits how many followers your posts actually get seen by. So on Facebook, for example, I believe the figure is around 10 or 15% of your actual followers will see any posts that you put onto your Facebook page. So your followers are going to have to actively seek you out, actively look for your social media account, actively look for your posts to see what you are posting. And how many followers are actually going to do that? Probably not many. When someone hands you their email address, you've sort of built up some level of trust already with them, enough trust anyway for them to give you your email address. And so they're sort of already warmed up in terms of knowing you or knowing your brand or knowing your products. They've seen something that you've done and they've liked it and they've liked it enough to give you their email address so that you can keep in contact with them about you or your brand. And from there, you can get your emails directly into their inbox where you can talk about your products or in this case, talk about your self-published books. Now, I would just like to say that building an email list isn't an overnight, uh, you'll be making sales by tomorrow type of deal. Building an email list is a long-term strategy, sort of like a slow burn type of strategy, but it is free, particularly to start with. And as I say, it's one of the only ways that you can get directly in touch with people who could be your potential customers. Also, you might be thinking that you need a massive list in order to have any kind of success or see any kind of sales from emailing your list. But in fact, that's not the case. And you can have a very small but engaged list if you target the right people. Now, I do also just wanna say that this isn't the only way to build an email list. There are lots of different ways to go about it and you should try different things and you should experiment and find what works for you. But the things that I'm gonna talk about in this video Video. They are free, like I say, and they are very beginner friendly so that any of you watching will be able to go out there and start an email list if it's something that you've been wanting to do. Now, the first thing that you need to do is you do need to go and sign up with an email autoresponder service. This is a service that allows you to collect people's email addresses, keep them stored in one place, and you also use that software to email the people on your list. There are many different ones out there to choose from, all with different features and different pricing plans and things like that. To start, with, you can just choose one that offers a free plan at the beginning. Personally, I use MailChimp. They allow you to have up to 2,000 contacts for free before you need to upgrade to their paid plan. There is also MailerLite, which allows you to have up to 1,000 subscribers for free. Then there is Aweber and Constant Contact, which let you have a free trial before you need to pay. So I think it's something like a 14-day or a 30-day free trial before you'll need to pay for their monthly subscriptions. But I haven't had any experience with those ones, so I can't speak for whether they are good or not or easy to use or not. I've only ever used MailChimp. All you need to do is sign up for free if you are using MailChimp. Once you have done that, you now have an account with an email autoresponder surface 
how do you get people onto your list? Now, this will depend mainly on the type of product that you have, and there are lots of different ways to go about this. But one of the most popular ways of getting somebody onto your email list is by giving away something for free. It's called a lead magnet, or ultimately, you're giving it away in exchange for their email address. So what can you give away for free? Like I say, this all depends on your products. Let's take a look at some examples. The first example that I am going to look at is the ever popular Jade Summer coloring books. If you have any experience in low content book publishing, particularly in the coloring book niche, you will have heard of Jade Summer. They are one of the most popular coloring book brands on Amazon. Their website is fairly basic. As you can see, there's nothing fancy about it. They just list all their coloring books that is available. But if you notice here on the left, they have free digital edition or they have this menu up here for free. If you just click on that link, it will take you to the page where you can see that they will give away a 100 page coloring book for free. So what they've done is they've taken what they feel are their 100 most best or most popular coloring pages from many of their coloring books and they've collated it into one so that as you can see you can sample the Jade Summer collection. So customers can download this for free, get an idea of what their coloring images are like and if they like them then they're on the Jade Summer email list and they'll get notified about all Jade Summer's new releases or whether they've got a sale on or, or whatever Jade Summer decide to email about. If you do follow Jade Summer or any other popular type of book on Amazon where you see a new book released, it's only been rele released for a few days or maybe even a week and they already have hundreds, sometimes even thousands of reviews and you wonder how have they done that? This is how. They create an email list, then they tell their email list when there's a new book launching so that they're immediately getting sales and reviews and that looks really good and it's really, really great for the Amazon algorithm too. So if you are someone who is in the coloring book niche, you can create a free coloring book or even just some coloring pages. It doesn't have to be as big and elaborate as a 100 page coloring book. Just create some free coloring pages and give them away in exchange for people's email addresses. So let's look at another one. Funsta is another brand I've talked about in videos before, same as Jade Summer. They are a massive brand in the puzzle book niche on Amazon. And straight away on their website, you can see here, subscribe to our newsletter and get some free printable books. Now I did subscribe to their newsletter quite a while ago and it's very similar to Jade Summer. They send you a full puzzle book that you can print out yourself and so it just gives you a really nice idea of what their puzzles are like and whether you like what they've made and that will help you decide whether you're going to go and buy more of their products. Just gives people a taster of what you've got to offer in your products on Amazon. If you are in a different type of niche, let's say you create planners, you could give away a free printable calendar or if you create journals, you could provide some free journal prompts or something along those lines. Basically, just try to create something that gives people a taste taste of what they will get if they buy or try to create something that can accompany a book that they can buy from you. So like the journal prompts go with a journal. If you sell a journal, give them some journal prompts for free and that's what they could write about in their journal or a checklist maybe uh, related to the niche that you're in or to the book that you've created or just something like that. Something that would be really useful to go along with your book that you sell on Amazon and that would entice someone to give you your email address to get that thing for free. So now you have created your freebie, let's say, how do you tell people about it? A very common way is to put information about your freebie in the books that you already have for sale on Amazon. So again, let's take a look at the Funster puzzle books. So we're taking a look at Funster's 1000 plus Sudoku puzzles that they sell on Amazon. As you can see, it's a number one bestseller, has a massive amount of reviews. But if we open up the look inside feature, and you can do this on any book, majority of books on Amazon have the look inside feature. And usually you get to see the first few pages. So as you can see, the first page of a Funster book says that you get access to free bonus puzzles that are available here and there is a link to their website. You go to that link and you will be required to put your email address in and they will send you a free book. Another example to look at is this coloring book, the swearing coloring book that is super popular. Go to their look inside feature and we scroll down. There is a whole page there. Want a freebie? Sign up here. They've got their website address there where you can go pop in your email address, join their newsletter, but at the same time you will get something for free. I haven't downloaded this. I haven't signed up to this email address, but I'm assuming it will be something related to their books. So some sort of coloring page or a coloring book that you can download and print for free. Now other ways that you can tell people about your freebie is that you can share it on your social media accounts. 
If you have them, put it on Pinterest. Share it in Facebook groups that you should be part of that are related to your niche, as long as that group allows you to do that. But considering that it's free, you might find it easier to share that within Facebook groups. But just make sure you always follow the Facebook group's rules, otherwise you will get booted out. At this point, once you have told people about your freebie, you need to send them somewhere where they can provide their email address and where you can send them the freebie. And you can do this in two ways. If you have a blog or a website already set up for your brand or for your products, you can just create a page on that website where you put a sign-up form and you just get this sign-up form from your MailChimp account if that's who you've signed up with or whatever autoresponder service that you are with will have a sign up form for you to use. Someone goes to that page on your website, they enter their email address into your sign up form and then they receive an email with a link to that freebie. And this is all done automatically so don't worry you are not just going to be sitting around all day manually sending emails to people with links to your freebie. You basically create an automation sequence in your email service provider. It is very simple. Don't worry that it's too technical. It is not. And anyone that you go with will have detailed instructions on how to do it, but it is very simple. And this automation sequence automatically sends emails to people after they have provided their email address. Now, if you don't have a website, do not stress. You do not have to go out and set up a website or a blog if you do not want to. You can create a sign up form within MailChimp and then you just provide people with a link to that sign up form hosted by MailChimp. And from there, it's basically the same process. They enter their email and then MailChimp will automatically send out an email to that person with a link to your freebie. And now you have their email address and you can email them whenever you want. Now, a few tips that I would just like to add is don't only email your list when you have something to sell. This isn't an entirely passive way to promote your brand, you are gonna have to put in a little bit of maintenance work with your list, in my opinion. It doesn't have to be a lot, but if you're only emailing people once every few months or a couple times a year, and when you do email them, it's just to try and sell them something, that's not going to work. You need to email your list regularly, and I would say at least once a week, and provide value in those emails. Don't always just be sell, sell, sell. If all you're doing is selling to people, they're not gonna buy from you. If you have something like a weight loss journal for sale on Amazon, for example, email your list once a week with weight loss tips or health tips or healthy eating tips or something related to health and fitness. This not only keeps the people on your list reminded of who you are, there is more chance that they will buy something from you when you do have a sales email or you are promoting something to them because you have provided so much value in all the emails previous that you've sent out. And they should be so happy with that value that you have provided to them in those emails. And so that just gives a much higher chance of them wanting to buy something from you later on. If you never email your list and then all of a sudden you send out an email trying to promote to them a new book that you have launched on Amazon or something like that, they're not gonna remember who you are and they're going to forget that they signed up to your list and they're probably just gonna think that it's spam. They might mark it as spam and report you and just delete the email. And even if they do remember who you are, they're probably just gonna delete the email anyway because you haven't built up enough trust and enough value in any kind of previous mail outs to get them to the point that they know, like, and trust you enough to buy something from you. And make sure you do this from the very beginning, from having your very first subscriber. Don't say to yourself, well, I'm going to start emailing when I have a certain amount of subscribers, when I have 500 subscribers or a thousand subscribers, because you don't know how long it's gonna take you to get to that figure. It could take you a year or two years to get to that figure. And you've already got hundreds of people on your list that you are not emailing for months on end because you're waiting for some magical figure where you feel it's appropriate to start emailing your subscriber base every week. Get in the habit of doing it from the very beginning. So that is one way that you can start building an email list and promoting your self-published books to your email list for free and that is very easy to do and I think that anybody can get started with this way of building an email list. And as I mentioned in the beginning, this is a long-term strategy. Building an email list is something that you should work at 
constantly and consistently because it will become a very powerful part of your marketing strategy as you continue to grow bigger. I hope this has helped shed some light on how to start and how to use an email list for your self-publishing business. If you do have any questions about anything I've talked about in this video, please leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. If you did learn something new in this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.